Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to our group space. We gather today for our work in the Creative Lab together with the Hekal group from Jerusalem and the Klangshali group from Germany, awakening the souls of our nations. And I invite Annette to lead us in the alignment. Thank you, Sasha. So welcome everyone to our eighth webinar for Awakening the Souls of Our Nations. And um, let's take a moment to reach out to the brothers and sisters on this call and wave a heartfelt hello all around the planet. With a deep breath, we let go of everything and come to rest in our place of inner stillness. Our heart at rest. our mind at peace. From here, we raise and expand our consciousness, perceiving ourselves as the soul. Standing together as a group of conscious souls, we dedicate ourselves to contribute to the awakening of the souls of our nations. In consciousness, we elevate ourselves up to a pinnacle from which we can oversee our nations. We meet there our national co-workers, those we know and perhaps also those we don't know. We allow all our energies to blend and fuse into one single unit. We briefly make contact with the energetic field of our nation. We send a blessing over it. We now lift our eyes towards the other national groups, each on their own high vibrational outposts. We weave lines of light and love from pinnacle to pinnacle. We create a unified field of high vibration.
as silent watchers, we call on our ashramic co-workers to be with us in this work. We come and stand within the midst of whirling forms, some of beauty rare and some of horror and despair. We stand. We look not here or there, but with our faces turned towards the light, we stand. Through our minds, the poor light streams to dissipate the fox. We come and rest. We cease our outer labors. Within our hearts is rest. We run not here and there, but constitute a point of peace and rest. From the heart at rest, a beam of dissipating force projects and blends with the shining light. We come and we observe, we own the eye of vision. Likewise, we own the right direction of the needed force. Through the eye of Buddhi comes the power to drive away the wailing, swirling clamors. We stand, we rest, and we observe. Such are our lives and such the service that we render to the souls of men. Let us hold now together this high field as we begin our work together for today. Thank you.